What is going on, football fans? So, uh, this is not a Raider video, so uh, hopefully Raider Nation still tunes in uh, to see what I have to say about this. But, um, before we get into the video, I just want to say, first off, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, and doing that, can you please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment below on your thoughts of this situation in football. Um, the other thing, too, is that we are getting really close to 2,000 subscribers. So, if we get to 2,000, I'm, I'm, I'm going to push it back up a little bit. Let's say if we can get 2,000 by June 31st, I will do a giveaway of two or three uh, prizes. And I'm going to think of a contest, which is going to be interesting, but... You know, me and Brad will think of something. Um, Instagram, at Bigger and Bradder Sports, one word. Twitter, uh, I'm at uh, Big Tuna BBS. Bradder's at Bradder Chatter 1. Um, so, just came down the wire that the Patriots just signed Brian Hoyer. And we all know with the social media and especially with the issues we're going through right now with the coronavirus and all that, um, a lot of news has been coming out about the situation with Brady Belichick and Robert Kraft. Now, of course, with any social media thing and any debacle, um, they're saying that Brady and Belichick were fighting in 2017. I think any football fan remembers that, uh, where it like got out and then they denied it and everything was fine. I think they won Super Bowl that year too, uh, or no, maybe it was the year before. Uh, but still, you know, it just seemed like Tom Brady wore out his welcome in New England, which is just so surprising to me. Because, you know, I mean, it's Tom Brady. He could, in my opinion, he could have stayed there as long as he wanted, but it just seemed like the Patriots were moving on. So, this brings me to this news. The the Patriots sign uh, quarterback Brian Hoyer, okay? And they have Jared Stidham, okay? I honestly think those are the two quarterbacks that are going to be 1-2, uh, unless there's injury, in the depth chart in the beginning of the season. Hoyer has been with Belichick on and off for the last five, six years. Stidham was a rookie last year coming out of Auburn. He worked under Tom Brady and learned from Tom Brady. And I honestly think, because I remember this, one of the Sunday Night Footballs, that Chris Collinsworth was talking about how high they were on Jared Stidham. And I remember Jared Stidham from Auburn only because, like, his junior year, he played so well that some people had him going in the first round. He stayed his senior year, wanted to win a national championship. Then he has a bad season, and he gets pushed down to the fourth round, where the Patriots drafted him. And to me, just Stidham looks like the prototype of the Patriots quarterback. He's tall. He's slow, <laughs> like Tom Brady is. He has a great arm. He can throw a little bit deeper than Brady, in my opinion, but... It just seems to me that people are saying Jameis Winston, um, you know, maybe. Uh, Cam Newton, maybe. I've heard that Cam Newton's going to go to the Redskins, which I also kind of don't understand, but whatever with that. Just because, I mean, you can put him under Haskins, but you can put him above Haskins, but I would think that Cam Newton is just not playing as well as some people think, in my opinion. Um, and he's injury prone more than anything. But, okay. Devil's advocate, so is Brian Hoyer. <laughs> but um, I could honestly see that Jared Stidham and Brian Hoyer fighting for the starting position with the Patriots. I don't know if they're going to trade down to get a quarterback in the first round with, uh, you know, Tua Burrow, which will probably be the first two quarterbacks to go. And then you got Hebert, Love, Eason, Fromm, maybe. You know, it just seems like the quarterbacks are going to be needed this year because you got a lot of guys with one year contracts and now. Breeze doesn't have, he has Taysom Hill, but, you know, whatever. But Breeze doesn't have a good backup. Um, you know, the Colts have Jacoby Brissett. Do they draft somebody? Um, San Diego, do they draft somebody behind Tyrod Taylor? It's just, it's a, uh, the Broncos, do they draft somebody? You know, the Bucks, do they draft a quarterback under Tom Brady? There's a lot of quarterbacks that are going to get taken a lot earlier than people think, in my opinion. So, yeah, I mean, I honestly and truly think that the Patriots really didn't want him back, which is just mind-boggling to me. And, I mean, them bringing in Hoyer makes me think that they've got their quarterbacks for the future, at least this year. And to me, it's just crazy. It's just crazy that Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft looked at each other and thought, you know what, 
maybe Jared Stidham's ready. Maybe we can bring in a veteran, cheap, and let Tom go. And to me, honestly, I never thought that would happen. And it's just crazy to think that nothing is ever done deal. Nothing is ever, ever done in football. There's no guys that are just going to retire on their own. I thought the only guy that would do it would be Tom Brady. But just a crazy, crazy time in the NFL. Um, you know, like I said, Hoyer and Stidham, those might be your one-two punch at quarterback, which is just... The worst thing is they'll probably still make the playoffs. I mean, unless the uh, unless the Bills get better, Patriots might still win get to the playoffs, which is just insane. But, all right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, you know, wash your hands, social distancing, all that stuff. Be careful. We'll get through this. Just stay inside for a while, and I guarantee you we'll get through all this stuff. It really, It's going to be okay. Trust me. I know everything. Um, but, uh, like I said in the beginning, thank you guys for watching. Just remember to subscribe, like, and comment below on your thoughts of the, uh, you know, the New England Patriots uh, quarterback situation. So, you guys have a good rest of your day. Any late-breaking news, I'll be back. But uh, as of right now, hey, Jared Stenham might be your starting quarterback for the New England Patriots. Take that in, Patriots fan. Think about that.